Hi everyone, Amy here from Never Grow Up Vacations, and now it's time to come fly with Amy. So today I am here and I have a trip announcement video. I'm so excited to share this with you all. Um, my trip that I'm about to announce is very soon. I leave on the 18th and come home on the 22nd, which is not this Sunday, but next Sunday. I'm gonna be gone for, I think it's four nights total, so quick, but exciting. And I am going to, drum roll, Disney World. Surprise, surprise, right? Um, but actually, I haven't been to Disney World since April, so I'm very excited to go back. Um, a lot of new things have been announced since my last trip. And I'm gonna kind of review with you some of the highlights of this trip to Disney. Um, so first and foremost, where am I staying? So I'm staying, I'm doing a split stay. The first day is going to be at the Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista out by Disney Springs. It's very, very close to Disney Springs. Um, my first time staying there, I've been there for breakfast, but I've actually never stayed there in person. Um, so I'll be sure to give you a room tour of that. And then the other portion of my trip, I'm staying at the Melia, um, which is a little bit outside of Disney, but pretty close. Um, and that'll be a one bedroom. So I'm very excited about that. The Melia is a little bit more of like a condo resort. Um, so I'm excited to try both of those out and room tours, of course, with all of those. A couple highlights of my trip. I'm going to Blizzard Beach for the first time ever. I've been going to Disney World for all 29 years of my life and I've never been to any of the water parks. Crazy, right? So my first time ever, I did um, get that pass holder discount, um, and that's part of the reason why I'm trying it out now. And July, it's hot in Florida, no surprise there. Um, so because of that, I'm so excited to bring you all along to Blizzard Beach with me for the first time ever. I am most excited for fireworks. Y'all have no idea. I am going to cry like a baby when I see Happily Ever After for their first time. Even thinking about it like makes me like want to tear up. Um, I watched the launch night, so I'm so excited to see Happily Ever After again. I'm definitely going to see it, I think, two nights, maybe more. Um, there might be fireworks every night of my stay. Um, and then I'm also excited to see Epcot Forever. Um, I did see it prior to it being shut down prior to COVID. Um, so I'm excited, it's my second time seeing it. Um, so I'm really excited to see that again. And then I will be enjoying the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. Luckily the Food and Wine kicks off on July 15th. I'm there the 18th, so just a couple days after opening. Food and Wine does run until November 20th. And it's, I think, my favorite festival at Epcot. It's a toss up between that and Flower and Garden. So I'm very excited to be there for Food and Wine. A couple food highlights during my trip. Um, I'm gonna be eating at Olivia's Cafe for dinner. I've only ever done it for breakfast, so that'll be a first for me. I hear their fried chicken is amazing. And then I'm going to be enjoying Ale and Compass for breakfast that's over at the Yacht Club. Never done that before. I will be enjoying Tapolino's Terrace. Um, which I have done before. I'm doing it for dinner again. This is my second time there, but it was amazing the first time, and I'm so excited to try it again. It's just beautiful up there. I am enjoying Tusker House for breakfast. That is new. Um, Tusker House, as most of you probably remember, was a buffet, and now it is family style with characters. So this will be my first time kind of experiencing that new model. I did try it prior, and it was always delicious, so I'm excited to try it again in a new fashion. I am most excited for this one. I got a reservation at Citrico's, which hopefully most of you know, it is reopening in just a couple days here, and it is being rebranded as Mary Poppins Returns, the movie. I am a huge fan of Mary Poppins, so I'm going to be a total nerd when I'm in there. I am so excited. I've never dined at Citrico's to begin with, so it's a new experience overall, but then to be able to see the brand new remodel, of Mary Poppins Returns is just so exciting to me. I'm so, I'm so excited. And then I am going to Homecoming, which most of you should know is one of my favorites, Chicken and Biscuits. I dream of Chicken and Biscuits. So excited to go there. They have the most delicious cocktails. Looking forward to that. And then I am going to try Gideon's for the first time. I hope as long as, you know, all the stars align. I've been wanting to try Gideon's, but it's just so hard to get in there sometimes. You gotta be there early. So I have 
a day dedicated to Disney Springs where I'm hopefully going to get Gideon's for the first time. So that's kind of a summary of my trip. It is a solo trip to Disney, which most of you know I love doing solo trips. I like it when my husband comes too, but I love solo trips because it's all about me. It's what about what I wanna do. And typically I drink a lot, I eat a lot, I ride what I wanna ride. It's fun, it's like the adult way to do Disney. And that's what I like to promote on this page is yes, Disney is branded for families. It's great for families, all kids love Disney but there's a lot more to Disney than just, you know, families and um, rides and there's so much more to that. So very excited about that. Um, I do have more trip announcements coming your way soon. When I say I'm booked up till the end of the year with trips, it's nuts. Like I know people think I'm nuts, like I am nuts for travel, but it's, I am booked up with so many amazing things all across the country and hopefully outside of the country as long as my passport comes back. I just, I'm in the process of changing my name. So I need my passport back. So I'm working on that, but I'm so excited to bring you all along. Um, stay tuned on my YouTube channel as well as this channel, Instagram, TikTok, I'm on all of them. I'm gonna be posting all kinds of different videos on all those platforms. So I'm so excited to bring you along and we are going to Disney in just a couple days, yay! If you have any questions or you'd like a quote on Disney, let me know. I'm also booking up all inclusives. Like I, I can't even blink anymore and I'm like booking like four more all inclusives. Tonight I booked um, a couple for Breathless Punta Cana, which is where I was at for my honeymoon. Yesterday I booked a couple for Sam Knowles Montego Bay, beautiful property. Um, I'm pumping out quotes tonight for other exotic honeymoon destinations. So the time to travel is now. Book early because things are changing and booking and um, selling out like crazy. So be sure to reach out if you're interested in getting a quote. But until then, stay tuned for some more travel content. Until then, happy travels. Bye.